How to Convert Solar Energy into Usable Power A Beginner's Guide in this article will walk you through how to convert solar energy into usable electricity for your everyday needs, whether you're using a grid-tied or off-grid solar system. By the end, you'll have a solid understanding of the key components of a solar power system and how to choose the right equipment for your needs. Solar Panels the heart of the system the most important component of any solar power system is the solar panels themselves. These panels come in a wide range of sizes, power outputs, and efficiencies. For example, a high-efficiency solar panel may produce up to 395 watts of power, while an older or less efficient panel may only produce 250 watts or less. This doesn't mean the lower output panels are bad some can still work well even if they're cracked, though their power output will be reduced. When choosing solar panels, two key factors need to be considered. Wattage output and voltage. If you have limited space, you may want to choose panels with higher power output per square foot. Though these tend to cost more, there are also portable solar panels, which generate less power but are great for smaller needs like charging your phone or running small appliances. Additionally, there are bifacial solar panels that can absorb light from both the front and back. These panels can increase power output by up to 30% compared to traditional panels. Even when placed in a less than ideal position, these panels can still generate electricity, as they use both direct sunlight and reflected light to produce energy. Inverters, converting DC power to AC power solar panels produce DC direct current power, but most household appliances run on AC alternating current. This is where inverters come into play. There are two main types of inverters, microinverters and string inverters. Microinverters connect to two minus four solar panels and work independently for each panel. This setup is flexible, allowing you to easily expand or service the system. One of the advantages of microinverters is that if one panel is shaded or underperforming, it doesn't significantly affect the entire system's performance. String inverters bring all the panel wiring into one central location and are typically used in larger systems. A downside to string inverters is that if one panel in the series is underperforming, the whole system's output may be reduced. However, power optimizers can mitigate this issue. Inverters are also categorized as grid-tied or off-grid. A grid-tied inverter sends power back to the grid, while an off-grid inverter allows you to use solar power independently and even continue powering your home during a blackout. Batteries, storing solar power for later use of off-grid systems, batteries are essential to store the electricity produced by solar panels. Even with a grid-tied system, you might want batteries for backup power during outages. Common types of batteries for solar systems include lead acid batteries and lithium batteries, each with different voltage ratings, capacity, cycle life, and efficiency. When selecting batteries, you'll need to consider the voltage and capacity. For example, a 12 volts battery is common for smaller systems, while larger systems often use 24 volts or 48 volts batteries. While batteries are optional for grid-tied systems, they are critical for off-grid systems. Additionally, newer options like the Tesla Powerwall are available, which store solar energy and provide power when needed. Some electric vehicles, such as the Ford F-150 Lightning, even claim to be able to power your home in case of an emergency, thanks to their built-in battery systems. Safety features and components to ensure your solar system operates safely, Several safety components are necessary. These include fuses, circuit breakers, disconnect switches, and surge protection. These components serve two main purposes. One, they create a breakpoint in the system for maintenance. Two, they protect the system from surges and overloads. For example, a PV combiner box connects multiple solar panels and has fuses and switches to manage power output. Circuit breakers protect the system by allowing you to disconnect power when needed. How to connect your solar system once all the components are selected, they need to be connected to form a complete system. Solar panels are typically connected to a fuse or combiner box, which then connects to the inverter. From the inverter, the power is sent to either batteries or the grid. 
For off-grid systems, the inverter will direct power to batteries for storage, which can be used later. In grid-tied systems, the inverter sends power to the grid, and you may have a bi-directional meter installed by your power company to track how much energy you produce versus how much you consume. Putting it all togatherotitimally, your solar system will consist of solar panels, an inverter, batteries optional for grid-tied, safety devices, and proper wiring to connect everything. Installing solar panels can be a complex task, so it's important to make sure all work meets local electrical codes and safety standards. For those who aren't comfortable with DIY solar installations, there are professional services that can help install and maintain your system. Many companies offer financing options and even provide systems that are similar to what you would do yourself but at a more affordable price. 